So, Senator, uh, the recent actions in the Middle East, uh, last week and now this week, uh, can you talk to me about your stance on the presidential administration's decision-making on this? Well, I'm glad that the president uh, dropped the, or sent the Tomahawk missiles into Syria. We drew a red line there in terms of uh, the use of chemical weapons, and we needed to enforce it. I'm glad the president did. How about the actions uh, in Afghanistan? Well, we still have uh, al-Qaeda and uh, Taliban activity there, We're still kin killing innocent civilians and uh, trying to take down the government there. And so I think we have an obligation to try to finish the job there. I haven't seen the intelligence uh, as to what prompted this uh, move, but I'm sure that uh, we had good reason. I'll see about when I get back to Washington. Are you concerned about any form of retaliation in the coming future? Uh, you know, if we were concerned only about retaliation, we wouldn't have any troops anywhere else in the world. You obviously have to weigh uh, your options, and I, I think, I mean, I have confidence in our, our military and the generals that are directing the war there. So moving to tonight, tonight's town hall meeting, uh, what inspired you to call this meeting tonight here in Mesa? Well, we, we have town halls. Uh, I, did, I had them last year, I'll have them this year, I'll have them next year. Uh, it's just one way to communicate. We do, uh, you know, the rest, we do telephone town halls, but sometimes you need to do them in the open. And, uh, we, and then we also have a lot of town halls at businesses or at rotary clubs or, or veterans organizations. Uh, but uh, this will be a big one. This will be probably the biggest one I've had. People are very concerned here, and they should be uh, with regard to health care. Arizona has been ground zero for the failure of the Obamacare exchange. And if you live in any of Arizona's 15 counties, you're paying more as a family of four for your health care premium than you are for your mortgage. And, and you can't sustain that. And so there are families that are really hurting and very fearful about what happens next. And so we want to make sure they know that we're working on it. So lastly, uh, when it comes to protests at town halls, you established a code of conduct tonight. What was your thought process with that? Well, uh, law enforcement wanted something there. That's my understanding. I frankly didn't know that we had one until somebody commented on Twitter about it. I'm glad people are able to come here and uh, we will ask anything they want. I won't have a moderator tonight. It'll just be just me asking any question that they put forward. I'll try to answer it the best I can. Okay. Thank you, Senator. Right. Appreciate you. Thanks. Time.